In an instant. In an instant, your life can change forever. It happens every day to people of all ages for many reasons, and no one expects it. You leave your house planning to return the same as you were when you left, but some people don't go home again, or not for a very long time. And when they do get home, they're often a different person. We're talking about traumatic brain injury, or TBI. It happens when the head takes a hard hit. Every day, people experience TBIs, and not just soldiers injured in the line of duty. In an instant, you can go from an active, carefree, energetic young person, ready for all that's out there in life, to one in a coma for weeks or months, having to learn to walk, talk, swallow again, losing your friends, and radically messing with your life plans. For teens and young people up to age 24, these hard head hits are usually caused by a motor vehicle crash. In Washington, from 2002 to 2006, more than 1,300 teens were hospitalized for TBI. That's more than 260 each year. Parents, you need to know this data too and help your kids make safer driving decisions. The good news is, TBIs can be prevented. You can lower your risk for TBI by taking action to protect yourself. The decisions you make every day can either protect you from a TBI or increase your risk for one. Your choices and decisions can affect others. My brain injury was 18 years ago. I had my 18th birthday on June 20th. And you know, one would think 18 years having an injury you know, with, with that, you one would think you would be over the injury in 18 years, but traumatic brain injury isn't an injury per se, it's a life change. You'll see some of their stories here. Take these stories to heart. Traumatic brain injuries are serious results of crashes. Protect yourself and reduce your risk for disabling brain injury. The lives and health of you, your friends, family members, and strangers are in your hands every time you get behind the wheel. Please remember, don't let the three eyes of teen driving get you. Irresponsibility brought on by immaturity, inexperience, and the feeling of invincibility. Help us reduce teen deaths and severe injuries. We can do it together. About 1.6 million people get a TBI each year in the United States. That would fill up the Seahawks Quest Field 22 times. Also, 50,000 die, 235,000 are hospitalized, and 1 million are treated and released from an emergency department. In Washington State, there's an average of 769 a year, 64 a month, almost 15 a week, and two a day. This is way too many. We were out cruising around and we ended up, everyone ended up falling asleep and I was a little intoxicated and I tried driving home and I, was, I lived about 18 miles out of town and probably about maybe three miles away from my house. I must have fell asleep and I was, ended up, it was on a straightaway and ended up, I was probably going to eat about 90 or 80. They said I went out of control and wrecked and then ended up getting hurt really bad. I was probably in the ditch for about an hour and a half until someone found me bleeding to death, that internal bleeding and all that. When I first come to, it was, it's been at least three weeks in the hospital. I was in a sedation for three weeks and I wouldn't even know I would have died. I don't know what really happened. I woke up and really didn't know anybody. I didn't even know my mom. And what happened, they said I bruised my brain in three spots. I broke, I fractured my T7 in my back, and I broke my collarbone and my shoulder blade on my left side of my arm, and broke my upper jaw, my lower jaw. My mouth was wired shut for about at least seven weeks. I didn't think that was about all my broken bones in my body. I was um, 16 at the time, and me and my friends went in the hills to go to a party that 
was up there. Around 2.04 in the morning, there was a vehicle collision on Reese Creek Road involving four juvenile males. Uh, what had happened was that there was a party up in the hills, Reese Creek, underage drinking going on in that area. Uh, these individuals attended the party for most of the night and decided it was time to go home. On the way down, the, I was like five in the morning because I had to be back uh, for a fishing trip I was going on. On the way out, uh, another juvenile who was at the party flagged down their vehicle and asked for a ride, uh, not knowing the condition of the driver or any of the occupants in the vehicle. He got in with them, they drove out of the hills, uh, partway down the passenger in the back who had hitched the ride uh, started noticing the vehicle was going from shoulder to shoulder and actually asked the driver if he could drive. He felt something was wrong and he could take over and probably do a better job of it. Uh, before they had a chance to pull the vehicle over to the side of the road and switch drivers, uh, the collision occurred. And the driver passed out at the wheel and he slid down the ditch, hit, he hit a culvert, a culvert and the cops estimated he flipped the end of rent about five times. The vehicle flew up at about a 45 degree angle, <clears throat> ended up going over a fence and landing nose first into a field, uh, ejecting two of the occupants. The paramedics found me a um, hundred feet away from the vehicle with a, cracks, with a cracked skull and a broken neck. My cousin was behind me and he was also ejected out of the car and he was found like 54 feet away from the car and he was in the coma for 14 days. Both of those occupants and were taken to uh, Kittitas Valley Community Hospital where they were treated for severe head injuries and later airlifted to Harborview. I lay in a coma for 53 days. They just forgot about me. I left the hospital. Nobody came around. Well, they came around for like a month or two, but they were just high schoolers wanting to be in, be a part of the drama I brought home from the hospital. But you know, I can't believe it. It's stupid. You'd be involved in this motor vehicle crash, be brought by ambulance to a major trauma center where you would be surrounded by nurses and doctors who are trying to save your life. People who are trying to figure out how you can retain the life that you once knew. And in fact, it may be that they can't do very much. You may not wake up. You may not be able to walk. You may not be able to feed yourself. These are all very real consequences of having a traumatic brain injury. We have uh, specialized patrols, and we call them underage drinking emphasis patrols. And uh, we crack down pretty hard on the underage drinking because simply because of these types of incidents that occur uh, from them. Um, there's no tolerance. Uh, if they're caught drinking, you're underage, more like you, you will get a citation for it. We're hoping that with doing these emphasis, we're keeping them off the road and making them think twice about even going out and drinking to begin with and putting themselves in that situation. Troopers, police and sheriffs are on the road every day to help protect all drivers by enforcing the traffic laws. Did you know vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for teens? They are. Crashes cause more deaths and disabling injuries than anything else. We want you to get where you need to go and back home in one piece. That's right. We don't want to have to go to a home and tell a family their son or daughter is either injured or won't be coming home again. I've had to do that. I've had to tell a father that his baby girl, the love of his life, won't be coming home again. These crashes are devastating. TBI is one of the more devastating outcomes from these crashes. You or those involved in the crash may never recover. You know, a car or truck feels so secure and invincible as you drive along. But take a look at these pictures. They don't look so sturdy now. Fortunately, it's pretty simple to help prevent a crash, TBI, and other serious injuries from happening while driving. First, always buckle up and wear your seatbelt correctly. Make sure everyone else in the vehicle does too. Always drive clean and sober. 
even one drink or one drug impairs judgment, reaction time, and self-control. If you're riding with someone, make sure they're clean and sober. It's not worth risking your brain or your life to ride with them. Always follow the speed limit. It's posted for a reason, to keep everyone as safe as possible. Keep from being distracted by not using a cell phone, talking with others, texting messages, or looking around at things other than the road. Always check, double check, and recheck for traffic before changing lanes. And please use your turn signal so that others know what you're doing. Remember, you can not only injure yourself, but you can also injure others. You could be the cause of someone else's TBI. I was in a car accident back in 1966. It happened to be the day after Thanksgiving in Kenai, Alaska. I was in a coma for four and a half months and I woke up the week of Easter in 67 in San Antonio, Texas. I had a bruise on the right side which controls the left side so my left side is paralyzed and I haven't walked, you know, since then. My, my speech slowed down quite a bit and I can't walk. So it's really, you know, it's always like I wish I could do that. Bev has lived with TBI since she was eight years old when the car she was riding in was hit by another car. She was an innocent victim. Now at age 48, her mom and dad still care for her. Parents have a strong role in helping their sons and daughters learn lifelong driving skills. Enforce the intermediate driver's license in your home. As a parent, make a contract with your son or daughter that you'll come and get them at any time if they need a ride, for whatever reason. Know the consequences of a poor decision. It can lead to a tragic result. So, so drive, drive safe. safe. It's a lose-lose situation when it comes to drinking and driving, period. And when it comes to underage drinking, uh, it, it makes it all that worse. We were irresponsible teenagers, so that, that might have been, been the reason that it resulted so badly. Life's too short. I mean, it's not worth it, it's easy. That's the easy way out, is just if you go out and just party, you get drunk and get in a car wreck and get in an accident and die. It's too short, that's the easy way out. Nobody wants to do that.